So you are going to your next one, which is here and now. Yeah, that's the um, the law of basically being present at all times. And we all know people who kind of live in the past, maybe a little bit too much or, or, or talk about the past a little bit. You cannot live in the past in the present. You just can't. You need to be in the present to live in the present. You need to understand your current circumstance, your current environment, and only then can you be your best because you cannot be your best today if you're focusing on the past. You can take your past and use it and learn from it to be your best today. But being present, I think, is important to be a 100, at 100%. Now, in the book, I talk about, see, I, I, I don't agree 100% about this with, with this law because I really do believe that you don't have to be present all the time because there's certain times where I don't see it advantageous to be present. If I'm if I'm sitting in my doctor's office waiting to be called in, why do I need to be present and absorb every moment of that particular experience? I have no problem having my mind wander to the past, to the future, to something that just happened while I'm sitting there. So my mind could be somewhere else. My physical body is there. They don't have to be together at the same time. But if 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 I if I'm doing what I'm doing now, or you're doing what you're doing now, or we take the airline pilot as an example, or the brain surgeon, you need to be present. So that that's the here and now.